quite remarkable. So um, I'm really taken by the economic vision uh, that uh, you're putting forward for the country. In an earlier discussion today, you indicated there are some challenges still. Uh, the uh, digitalization of the economy has been slow. Uh, but in terms of the future, if you're looking at the digital economy, the renewable energy transformation, but also uh, future secure supply chains, give us a sense of where you hope the country to be economically uh, at the completion of this term. Well, uh, to, put, to put it very simply, um, I've been asked what is the uh, um, absolute end result that uh, we are hoping to achieve. And it's very simple for me. No more, not one more hungry Filipino. And that is a very simple, it's, it's a very simple aim. It's a very simple goal. But I dare say it is not necessarily a, a simple uh, problem to solve and it, uh, it requires a great deal of effort and, and, and uh, thinking on uh, the part of the public sector. But uh, if it is the public sector's uh, responsibility to uh, attend to that social problem that, uh, that we are facing, we are engaging, uh, this is the new policy of this administration, we are engaging the public sectors uh, the private sector, rather, as partners in that effort. We hope to uh, leverage whatever it is that the government can do uh, to maximize the effects of what uh, development we are able to, uh, we are able to encourage and uh, to the benefit of those who have come to help, to help us, our partners, our investors, and, of course, to the benefit of the ordinary Filipino. And so, the, as, uh, as I came into office, of course, uh, the primary concern was the economy. The primary concern was the livelihood of Filipinos. And uh, this is why we have come to the conclusion with uh, economic managers who uh, we uh, have engaged and have asked to join government. We, I think, I believe that we have uh, the best and the brightest uh, of our economic managers, with a, all of whom have a long history of success and a true understanding of the problems that Filipinos face, and furthermore, a true understanding of what we need to do to solve those problems. And again, we have managed uh, to engage our uh, public uh, private sector partners and uh, to be part of this effort. And uh, I do not think that uh, we could manage to do this by ourselves in the public sector. To take that, uh, to take that point a little further, I would say that uh, not only private sector partners in the Philippines, but also uh, partnerships between uh, governments and the Philippines as partners, as allies, as friends. As we all emerge uh, from the uh, the pandemic and try to reinvigorate and transform our economy. I believe that the partnerships that we make between uh, our friends and allies around the world are going to provide the stability that we are going to need as we face a new world and face the problems really that we have not faced before the pandemic and we have not faced before and we now have to find new solutions. Business as usual in our view simply has no place in that because it is not business as usual. The pandemic basically has changed everything. We live differently, we work differently, we study differently, we, uh, our social contacts are done differently. And I can, as, as, as you can imagine, this leads now to that process of digitalization that we all need to uh, undertake if we are going to be part uh, of the new global economy. And so many of these, uh, uh, many of these aspects of the economy have, um, we, we have tried to analyze it, and it is surprising 
for me anyway, that when we sat down with the economic managers and we talked about industrialization, we talked about energy supply, we talked about digitalization, and at the root of it, at the heart of the problem, was our agricultural sector. You would think that the high-tech industries would be the ones that would hold the key, and they do in many ways. But all that that we can do uh, with the, the new industries still have to be founded on a very strong and uh, reliable uh, agricultural sector. The pandemic showed very clearly the weaknesses that Philippines has in terms of uh, being able to provide a strategic food supply to our, to our, to our countrymen at a price that they can afford. And so that for us has been really the first step is uh, trying to improve the, rate, the, the production of uh, agricultural products. And um, of course, this has been made terribly difficult with the shocks that the uh, agricultural sector, perhaps not just in the Philippines, but the, around the world, the shocks that have been dealt us by the conflict in Ukraine. It is a constant surprise to all of us, uh, but that we are having to learn to live with that a conflict in Eastern Europe should affect the Philippines at such a profound and basic level as agriculture. With the prices of fertilizer going up, with the prices of uh, in, uh, agricultural, agricultural commodities going up, with uh, the uncertainties in, of supply. And so we now have to go to what we describe as non-traditional sources. And we have to diversify. I, I, I don't think that this, uh, that this is unique to the Philippines. I see it in many of the other countries. So those are the first steps I think we'll have to do with the agriculture and then we have to fix our weaknesses in the bureaucracy. We have to uh, learn to be more efficient. We have to streamline our uh, civil service, both at the national and at the local level. And uh, unfortunately, the Philippines in these, uh, in these areas, are still, we are still playing catch up. Uh, but that's not what, that's not where we want to go. That's not just where we want to go. We don't want to just catch up. We want to go beyond that. We have no interest in going back to pre-pandemic levels. What we are interested in is to flourish further and to position the Philippines in such a way that we can take full advantage of the new economies that, and the new industries that have come to light. Unfortunately, the tra many of the traditional uh, sectors uh, of the, that we had depended on during the during pre-pandemic days uh, will cease to exist, have ceased to exist. And we have to identify as quickly as possible and to have a good view and forecast for the future to position the Philippines in such a way that uh, we are able to uh, be part of the transformation of the global economy. Thank you for that.